Retrieval practice at the start of every lesson, right? Wrong. In this research paper, something to consider, uh, here's the paper here, memory processes, as we know, are very complex, more complex sometimes than we think. And it's not enough to always think about retrieval practice as a start of lesson kind of methodology, quizzing students at the start of every lesson. And what I've got for you here is four recommendations. Now in this research, context is key. They actually tested mice, but don't disregard the research findings. The data shows that the brain requires more immediate recall to consolidate information. So what this means is at the start of a lesson, imagine that you are uh, leading a retrieval practice. This often brings information into our working memory and we know it's limited. There's only so much information we can process at once. However, the brain doesn't immediately activate deep transcriptional processes. Now I'll explain what this means. Um, and this, this kind of phrase, transcriptional processes, is what's needed for long-term memory consolidation. Now instead, these processes, I guess they act like an enhancer or a primer. I like to think of primer as an undercoat, a layer. And it prepares the brain for a later recall. So that phrase, transcriptional process, to help teachers understand this tricky word, it refers to the brain's biological mechanisms. So when we get into neural development, those kind of things, uh, think of it like gene expressions, um, neural development, or what, what helps solidify memories. And I guess it's almost, uh, uh, for want of an easier definition, preparing the ground. That's what a primer is. So for example, I can now tell you what I'll discuss in my next video. Now the next video is not for a week or so, but I will prepare you for what's to come. Uh, this is boosting your knowledge in advance. And this is what teachers should be doing in the lessons to prepare students as they leave, sometimes called an exit ticket, before they return next to class. And that's where retrieval practice can make a difference. Retrieval at the beginning of a lesson may only be beneficial for short-term recall, but without significant kind of long-term impact, the dangers are that unless we are thinking uh, how it all connects together, followed by other strategies, then it's not really going to support that memory consolidation. So you've got four tips from me, some recommendations from the blog. There's some great graphics inside the, uh, the research paper. My top tip, diversify the starts of your lesson. Don't abandon retrieval practice altogether. Two, consider the timing of retrieval practice. Three, always provide feedback during your quizzes. And remember, more than anything, retrieval practice comes with no grade. It's a learning strategy, not an assessment strategy. Thanks for watching.